Hello, I'm uh, Mary Solverti. I'm a professor in the Department of Plant Sciences. And I'm doing this uh, survey for alfalfa uh, to try to model how we can determine uh, yield and yield losses in alfalfa fields. So we're doing this sampling that county agents in the state will help me. So uh, following up, we'll do the instructions step by step on how to sample these fields. So now I want to show you first the materials that you're going to need for the sampling. In the mail or to your county agent specialist or the research stations, you're going to get the bags for sampling. For each field you sample, you'll get three bags. You'll need three bags. Inside each bag, you have twine and the instructions and the sheets that you're going to need to record the data. Also, you will need other material that is not coming in the bags, but you will need uh, a measuring stick or a tape, measuring tape, flex, or you could use sticks to whatever you have to mark four corners of a meter square, and something to cut. You, we use these. You don't have one of these, you could use a scissor, okay, or a grass clipper too. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need a pencil to be able to record the data in here. Use a pencil and not a pen, because if it gets wet, uh, you know, the ink will, will get blurry, where with a pencil that doesn't happen. And the first thing you're going to do is get field information that you have on this. So first, fill it your name, agent name, your con contact person, if it's yourself, you can write it twice, county, township, range section and quarter where this field is, GPS location if you have it, if you have a cell phone you can use that, if not that's okay, a city, zip code, and your email. Then write the sampling date, the day you're sampling, uh, the alfalfa, find from the farmer what is what's the alfalfa planting date, hopefully month and year, if you don't have both just a year will be okay. And then if it's irrigated or not, and if you're sampling the first cutting, second cutting, third cutting or more. So I'll fill this information first and then follow with instructions. So I'll write the name, I'm going to put my name here, okay, and the information of the field here where uh, sampling in Fargo, experimental station, okay, and then you write sampling date, today is May 25th, and this alfalfa was planted in 2011, in May. It's non-irrigated and this is the first cutting. So that's how you mark in your sheet. So now it's time to, to uh, start sampling. Once you have the information completed, uh, select an area in your field to sample. Walk 30 feet in an area of the alfalfa field. Once you're in the area you're gonna sample, nearby find three areas of a meter square one with high density, if possible, one with medium density, like this area here, and one with very low density. So try to get a range of densities in the, the three squares. So my students are going to mark a meter square in the high density area, and this is what you do. We have a meter square made, but you can do it with a measuring stick and put it in one side, Get the flags, four flags you need for meters for each meter square, or a stake. So you put it in each one. So this will be the high density area that you're gonna sample. After you've done the high and the medium, the last one we're gonna do is the low density. So find an area with very few plants like this, okay? And then they're gonna mark it again, the four corners, so we have those. Once you've marked the four of them, now you are ready to start taking notes and measuring uh, the alfalfa density, height, and staging in each square. Now you need to measure the height in each one of the squares. Only measure one plant to the top, so go with your measuring stick or tape, whatever you have. Take to straight the stem that you've chosen and measure the height. This is 20 inches high and recorded it in here, where you're gonna say your first plant, plant high, you say 
20. Now the next thing you have to do is the staging and for the staging you're going to choose 10 stems, uh, 10 stems, okay, count 10, look at what stage they are um, and decide the staging. This, if I count 10 stems, this is an early vegetative stage. Now you're in the square with high density and you need to count plants. So you're gonna separate the plants within the square here, okay? And for each plant, here's the corner, for each plant you're gonna count the numbers of tens of plants. This is one crown, you see, one crown of a plant. So all this one is only one plant here. So you count the stems, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. And you go in here and write twenty-six in your sheet, which is number of stems in each plant. Okay? On the recording sheet on the other side, you go and write plant one has 26. Then you go to an next plant within the same meter square and say this is an next plant. This is a crown, it's a smaller plant. This plant has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stems. So you go in here and write ten. And you do that for every plant within the square for this square and for each square. So this is sample one or square one and you write all the numbers of plants, as many plants as there are. I have up to 15 here, but if you have more than 15 plants here, you just add columns here and add the number of plants and stems. So count the stems for each plant in the square. Do the same for the square with medium density and the square with low density. So this is the medium density square. Um, Dulan is counting here and this plant has 35 stems. Once you count them, then you record in your paper and this sheet here, you record the number. In this case, it's 35 stems for plant number one. All right, this is the low density square. Alan is counting here the plant. This is one plant here within the square and he's going to count all the stems on that plant. Even the small stems, you see he's counting all of them. Now you're doing your low density square and you write how many stems in each plant. So that plant has 44 stems and this is a low density. You'll write plant one on this square has 44 stems. For growth staging, the plants on your square, that means uh, what uh, vegetative or bloom or bud stage are, you need to take 10 stems within your square, each one of the squares, lay them out on the ground like this, okay? And once you lay them down, then look at them really closely, what's the stage? You see here, each one of these is a flower bud. Each one of these, okay? So this plant is in medium to late bud stage. Already buds are coming. In about four or five days, these buds are gonna open and flowers will show up. They're purple color, so you'll see them. If you see a flower open, then this plant, this stem is already on bloom stage. So you have one of these stems have one flower open. This is 10% bloom stage. If you have four of them with one flower open, then it will be 40% bloom stage. If in 10 plants, all of them are in bad stage, okay, this staging is 100% bad stage for this square. If one of these stems has one flower open, then the stage is 10% bloom. You have a diagram on the information I send you uh, for growth staging. So it shows what you have to look for. If you still not sure how to measure it, just take a picture of the stems laying down and send it to me together with the information. 
All right, the next step, once you've already measured the height and determined the growth stage in each one of the squares, you can proceed to cut the plants. So once you, you go and cut the plants with either a knife or scissors, whatever you have, cut them at the base, like my students will do here, they'll cut the plants at the base and start putting them in the burlap sack uh, I have provided for this sampling. Take every stem in the meter square, cut it the closest you can to the ground and put it in the bag. Only put alfalfa plants. If you have weeds, don't put them in the bag. Only alfalfa plants in the bag. They already cut all the uh, plants in that meter square and then they're proceeding to put it inside the burlap bag. Remember the burlap bag had two tags. Once you put all the plants inside the burlap bag, you have to write in the tags the following information. Sampling date, the field name, county, and sample number. That means you're one, two, or three within this field. And you can put your name in the tag too. So write in both tags the same information. So once you write the information, you put one tag inside the bag, and the other tag you use it to tie the bag. But also we say give you twine, and just to make sure you know it gets tied, we'll also use the twine to tie the bag. You've done already one square, uh, then you go to the next one. Again, cut all the stems in that square, put them in the burlap sack. Uh, make sure you take both tags out, write the information, sampling date, county, field name, your name, and the sample number, whether it's one or two. This would be number two, because it's the second sample or second square meter that you're sampling. Then again, tie the tags. One goes inside, one's outside, and tie with a twine. And then you're done with a square. And after that, you'll do the same for the third one with the low density. And once you have those three squares, you are done with the sampling. Once you got the three samples, the bags are ready and all tied up, you can take off the flags of the squares uh, take them with you because you will need them probably for the next sampling. Don't leave them in the field because they're wire. If you have wire bag uh, flags, those are not good to for the farmer to get in the in the bale. So take all the flags with you and uh, bring the bags to your uh, area specialist if you're working with one of them in your county, or if you're not working with one of them, send them directly to Fargo. Let me know when you're going to need them because I'll send you prepaid labels for shipping the bags. Once you're done with uh, all your sampling and you have a so you're going to have this spreadsheet's going to look something like this. Okay, you're going to have for each plant, you're going to have a, a number, right? Uh, of the number of stems on each one of the plants that you counted. Something like this, right? I'm just putting numbers here. Uh, if you have more than 15 plants in that square, then just add columns to the sheet here and start writing the numbers. So there's a space for 15, but you have more, just continue writing the numbers. Once you get back to your office, you know, you're going to have for each sample, one, two, and three, you know, the high density, low density, uh, and medium density. Okay, once you get to your office, you can just add all the columns and add the numbers. The formula, it is already in the spreadsheet I sent you. So automatically, when you, you uh, type in all these numbers in here, the total number of stems will show up here, and the total number of plants will show up in this column. If you add columns, you will have to modify the formulas on these cells, so it adds those uh, columns too to the total. Uh, here is the explanation in the same spreadsheet. What you have to do to change a formula for total stems or total plants, uh, if you add columns, okay? Adding the, col you have to change to the last uh, number of the column to be able to add that. 
But if you have some trouble, just add the columns and the numbers and I will change the formula once you send me the data. So once you have all this information and you've already given the VEX to your area agent or send me the VEX, please uh, let me know you have any questions and um, I really appreciate that you're doing this for me. This, this is a great project. We're going to get good results. So thanks a lot. And uh, don't hesitate to call me to my cell phone or or send me an email. Uh, my cell phone is in, your, in the letter that is in each one of the sacks, so you can call me immediately. Even if when you're in the field, you can call me and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.